Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to break down a really important concept in Java streams. The difference between intermediate operations and terminal operations. Streams allow us to process collections of data in a declarative way, but to use them well, you need to understand how these two types of operations work together. We'll start with the definition. Intermediate operations are the steps that transform a stream like filtering or mapping, but they don't produce a result on their own. They return another stream. Terminal operations, on the other hand, are the final step in a stream pipeline. They actually produce a result like a list, a count or a boolean. And after that, the stream is considered consumed and can't be used again. So intermediate builds the pipeline and terminal triggers it. Let's talk about what happens behind the scenes. Intermediate operations are lazy. That means they don't do anything until a terminal operation is called. You can chain multiple intermediate steps, but they won't execute right away. Terminal operations are eager. They start the actual processing. Once a terminal operation runs, the entire pipeline is executed and the stream gets closed. This laziness helps Java optimize the processing under the hood, often doing everything in a single pass. Now the return type. Intermediate operations always return another stream that allows you to keep chaining operations. For example, calling dot map or dot filter just gives you a new stream. Terminal operations return a concrete result that could be a number, a list, a boolean or even nothing at all. Once a terminal operation is executed, no further stream operations can be added. So remember, intermediate builds the flow. Terminal gives you the final outcome. Let's look at some examples. Intermediate operations include map, filter, sorted and distinct. These all transform the data in some way, but don't give you the final result. Terminal operations include collect, for each, reduce, count, and any match. These are the final step and produce an output, like collecting into a list or printing each item. Think of intermediate steps as preparing the data, and the terminal step as saying, OK, now give me the result. Here's where many developers get confused, the execution timing. Intermediate operations don't run immediately. You can chain 10 of them together and nothing happens until the terminal step is called. Terminal operations trigger the stream pipeline to run. They pull the data through all the intermediate steps and give you the result. So if your stream code isn't running, check that you've added a terminal operation. That's what makes it actually execute. Let's talk side effects. Intermediate operations should be side effect free. That means they should not change state or modify external variables. Their job is just to define how the data should be transformed. Terminal operations may include side effects. For example, for each might print to the console or update a counter. But you still want to avoid side effects unless you really need them, especially in parallel streams. Keeping side effects out of intermediate steps makes your code more predictable and easier to debug. Now where do they fit? Intermediate operations appear in the middle of a stream pipeline. You can have one or many chained together to shape the data as needed. Terminal operations always appear at the end. Once a terminal operation is called, the pipeline is complete and the stream is closed. So the pipeline structure is stream source, intermediate steps and finally one terminal operation. Let's wrap this up. In Java streams, intermediate operations transform the data and return another stream. They are lazy and they define what should happen, but they don't trigger anything on their own. Terminal operations finish the job, they start execution, return a result and close the stream. Without a terminal operation, nothing actually happens. Understanding this flow from stream creation to intermediate processing to terminal execution is the foundation of mastering Java streams. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.